I just really quickly wanted to let you guys know what we are quickly what we're gonna talk about today and we're actually gonna do something really fun where are we at first of all come here and tell us where we're at this is Hannah Park right in Jacksonville Florida Beach come here we gotta wait for daddy so this is what Joshua is seeing right here and this is very unfamiliar to him he's never been here so he is uh, feeling a little lost right now, right? Is that accurate? Well, we have to wait for daddy and your brother, okay? Come here, I can't walk away from you. So we're gonna, we brought him out here to do a video and to show you guys what high functioning autism looks like for us what that means and the situations that he, he is not necessarily thrilled about, which is going to new places. He's out of his comfort zone. Do you like it here or do you not like it here? You like it, but you're not familiar with it. I'm not, I'm not familiar with it. I'm You're what? I said do something fun in here. You're gonna do something funner here? Yeah. What are you thinking? Throwing a penny into the lake, or what? And I don't know what you're looking at. Don't lean too far over that, okay? Let's go find your daddy and your brother, and we'll take a hike, okay? We're gonna hike some trails. Hannah Park is in Mayport, Florida, out at the beach, and I'm not sure exactly how big it is. We've been coming to this park for 30 years. Uh, it has Joshua, stay here. It has lots of these marshy, swampy, uh, pondy areas that are, probably have gators in them at some point. It's got, there's lots of land here. There's a lake here for kayaking. There's a water park here. And then you have the beach over across the way. You have camping, hiking, biking trails, all of this. Uh, these are trails back here. Wait for me, Joshua Paul, wait. Come back here so we can get your brother and your daddy. You don't just go walking into somewhere in front of us. You have to walk behind me because you do have to worry about snakes out here. So we will show you guys the sights here. What can I do to help you make it be more familiar? You wish you were home to do what? I wish I was home or maybe go somewhere. 
Is it because you just want to go to Target or because you really feel lost out here? Because we don't feel lost out here. Okay, so how about this? How about if we go over to the water park? What do you think? Want to go over to the water park right down the way? Where the water comes out of the ground and the kids no, play? I can't because I don't have my swimsuit. Well, but you've got extra clothes, so if you, you can get wet, perfectly wet. I brought extra clothes and there's a bathroom to change into. How about that? And guess what? We can do Target tomorrow, you know why? Because you need to get a new swimsuit anyway, so that's a perfect excuse to go to Target. Right? Okay? Yeah. Anyways, we are here at Hannah Park. We wanted to show you guys what how Joshua reacts when we go somewhere that's not within the norm of what he likes to do. Hannah Park, uh, outdoor water park for children, uh, play, play area with slides and swings, uh, the ocean to go swimming in, trails. trails to hike and bike on, fishing lakes, fishing lakes, all kinds of beautiful birds, beautiful place. And for Joshua, it's high anxiety. It is a new place, somewhere he's not familiar with, completely high anxiety. So that's what we're gonna show you right now as we go out and try to do this. We're not gonna show you a great filmed, perfectly choreographed video. We're gonna show you honestly what happens when we go somewhere with Joshua that's not, that's that causes him anxiety, which is just about anywhere. What's the matter, baby? You feel lost? Why do you feel lost? So hard to see. Huh? From the moment. Th because what? Oh, wow. This is not familiar to me. This is not familiar to you. Come here. Stop for a second. But it's still like she's had high anxiety at first. But you're gonna see that he loves it. Um, he's not in his comfort zone, but he will. He'll, He'll come around a little bit. <laughs> so hard to see from the moment we arrive. You are one who will survive.
video. I hope you guys liked it. We had so much fun filming this video. And he has his own channel. So check it out below. That's Joshua's channel. And he's actually doing fantastic. So he likes being on film. He likes doing the videos. And come here. Come Tell us your thoughts. Do you like doing the videos? Bend down. Do you like doing the videos? You gotta bend way down. <laughs> Here you go. What do you think about doing your videos? I don't know. Are they fun sometimes and annoying sometimes? I don't know. You just don't really care, do you? Do you really care about it? No. You just kind of don't think about it? This does not cause him anxiety issues. I know what causes him anxiety and this is not one of them. It only causes him anxiety when I make him sit and say and talk or answer questions. And that is on film, for school, uh, talking on the phone to grandma. That's any situation. It is no different if we're filming or if he's doing homework. Or if we're in church or he needs to be quiet and sit and focus. He, that is an uncomfortable spot for him to be in. So, and filming is lumped right into that. So we just decided, you know what? We're not gonna make him do that when we film. We're gonna film him doing what he does. Then you guys can see it, okay? That's it, I'm done, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in our next video. Peace. And we'll see you in Yeah, right, our next video. Well, I was really looking at this cool, uh, look at that, the autofocus. In focus, out of focus, in focus. So if I close, come back, I put my hand up, it'll focus on my hand, and I will be blurry. I love this lens. Ah. All right, I'm out of here. <clears throat> I said go. <laughs>